Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my second Eclipse 2024 forecast. So, looking at the short-range ensemble models from Pivotal Weather for the cloud cover across the United States, it is still looking like there's going to be issues with clouds across much of Texas and across Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York State along the path of totality, with the short-range models um, averaging about 50 to 90 percent cloud cover across much of central southern Texas and about 60 to 80 percent cloud cover across portions of southern Ontario, New York State, Pennsylvania, and northeastern Ohio. So likely limited eclipse viewing for these areas. Uh, the latest short range model guidance shows a lot less cloud cover in areas of north Texas through Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, through Indiana, and Ohio with about 20 to 50 percent cloud coverage across these areas. So it's looking like we're going to be seeing mostly good uh, eclipse viewing conditions for much of the Ozarks and Midwest if the short range models verify. And once again, across areas of Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, New Brunswick, it's looking like you're good to go to see the total solar, solar eclipse tomorrow. Taking a look at the Canadian ensemble model guidance. The Canadian Ensemble Model Guidance is probably the most favorable for eclipse viewing across the United States, with only about uh, 5 to 20 percent cloud coverage from areas like Dallas through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, into Indiana and Ohio. So if the Canadian Ensemble Models verify, we're going to be seeing a large area able to see the full totality of the 2024 solar eclipse tomorrow, so I'm hoping and praying that the Canadian model uh, verifies, and even in areas of central and south central Texas, uh, likely going to be some big time breaks in the clouds with about 50 to 80 percent cloud coverage in the Canadian model, and up towards the Great Lakes in New York, Pennsylvania, southern Ontario, about 50 to 70 percent cloud cover coverage in the Canadian ensembles. So we're likely going to be seeing breaks in the clouds up here as well if the Canadian model verifies. Looking at New England, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, New Brunswick, perfectly clear, clear conditions for a perfect, perfect view of tomorrow's solar eclipse. Uh, taking a look at the American Ensemble, uh, this is the ensemble that we do not want to be uh, correct. The uh, American Model Ensemble guidance is Predict, uh, projecting clouds along almost the entire path of totality with about uh, 80 to 100 percent cloud coverage in much of Texas. Some breaks across Arkansas even in the GFS ensembles. So uh, the Arkansas is looking very favorable and southeastern Missouri for eclipse viewing tomorrow with about 20 to 50 percent cloud coverage up towards Illinois, Indiana, Ohio about 40 to 60 percent cloud coverage in the American slash GFS ensembles, and once again across New York State through southern Canada and Niagara Falls towards Toronto, towards Erie, um, not looking good for eclipse viewing tomorrow in the American model ensemble. But once again, looking at Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, it's looking like we're going to be having perfect eclipse viewing conditions even in our worst model. And finally, taking a look at the National Weather Service blend of models, this is the most accurate. Um, this is the most accurate forecast, as this is a blend of all the models from the National Weather Service, and this is projecting about 50 to 80 percent cloud coverage along the path of totality across Texas. So, hoping for some uh, breaks in the clouds, as the model models are indicating that there's going to be at least some breaks in the clouds across Texas. Looking across Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, um, you're looking good in the National Weather Service blend of models with about 20 to 40 percent cloud coverage. Looking up towards uh, New York State, Pennsylvania, southern Canada, in Ontario, and the Northeast Ohio, uh, not looking good. Looking at about 70 to 90 percent cloud coverage in the National Weather Service blend of models, but New Brunswick, Maine, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, for the most part, is looking us uh, is looking clear to see the eclipse tomorrow. 
So I'm going to have one final eclipse forecast update tomorrow morning, but make sure you are preparing for tomorrow's big solar eclipse. Make sure you have your eclipse glasses on until totality occurs. Thanks for watching this evening's eclipse 2024 forecast. Uh, please stay safe and enjoy the, clip, the eclipse, my friends.